Hey guys, you're probably looking at the title of this video and wondering, what are you doing? I thought you were going to be doing bonus episodes for the after years. Well, that's not going to be the case. Those bonus levels are completely optional and they're just a pain in the dick except for the last one, which is probably the only fun one for me. Anyways, um, you're probably wondering, where's Daydreaming Derpy? Well, as I've said several times, I'm not doing it. But... I will do something in its place, something I have practiced for, because as for the other LP, no, I didn't practice for it at all. I just couldn't bother to be practicing for it. Honestly, if you guys really want to see it that bad, head on over to GW Fan's channel. He has the full Let's Play there. Anyway, so what am I exactly am I doing? Well, the title is kind of obvious, but there's a little more to that. So let's show you what that little more to that is. It's My Little Pony World. My Little Pony RPG 3, if the volume sounds quiet, well, that's because it sort of isn't, isn't. I don't know, some of the music's really quiet, some of it's really loud. The sound effects are really loud, so it may seem really quiet at times, but there's nothing I can do about that. Now, we're not going to be starting a regular new game, because I don't want to do normal mode. We're going to be doing this game's version of hard mode. So to do that, i got to load my clear file, which is in the New Game Plus room, not an actual New Game Plus. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure if it was GW Fan or something, he would do Normal Mode and then show off Hard Mode. And there's a good reason why I have to do Hard Mode. So let's enter the Hard Mode portal. I select No right off the bat. I'll explain things when the real game starts. I'm not going to waste time doing normal because of what you have, because you have to do hard mode in this game to get the real ending of the game, the true ending, so there's no point in doing normal than doing hard and then showing you guys the end. I'll just double my work. And after that, the real game starts. All that little side bit crap aside, welcome to MLP World. Um, yes, I'm very aware that this is a parody of FNAF World. If you don't like it, then this, then just click, no, then just click on the X. Same with you guys. If you don't like I'm not doing Daydreaming Derpy, there's the YouTube tab. Come back later when I do a different LP. I'm sorry. Anyways, this is actually a side project I've worked on while waiting for resources for MLP RPG 2, which GW fans doing, so I'm doing three. This will be a shock to them. Don't expect quality on this game. Like I said, side project. Anyways, if you are interested in watching or playing this game, then continue. I think you know what to do now. Select four points you want to have in your party. Now this game is interesting. You don't. You start out with the main six, and you can get up to a total of 40 ponies to put in your party. Funny enough, I don't really need them all. I know what I need, and I know what I'm going to use. So I've played this already. Anyways, let's put in rarity. And we'll keep Applejack and Rainbow Dash. Now hard mode is exactly as it sounds. Hard. It's much tougher than normal mode. Because normal mode is rather easy. Is this? Let's talk about that more in a moment. We got a cutscene. Princess Celestia, I got your letter. Tell me what's going on. Discord is turned back to the enemy side. What? But Fluttershy made him good. Yes, I know, but something is very wrong. He wouldn't just return to the enemy side again for no reason. Uh-oh, that's not good. At some point he must be controlling him. Your mission is to find out who or what is doing this. Yes, princess, I will gather my friends and we will find out what is going on. Yes, I'm sure you won't have any trouble with this. Yeah, don't be too sure about that. Be careful, though. I think it's supposed to be careful, though. I don't know, be careful too, Twilight. Discord has seemed to open a portal to another dimension, and strange creatures have been di appearing. I'm sure you'll have that under control. Strange. Good luck on your quest, Twilight. Yay. It's all happy and fun. What? Expecting a loading screen? RPG Maker doesn't really need anything to load. Or does it? Anyways, enjoy. And with that, we get thrown straight into the game with no crap. Yeah, this game does have loading screens, but I think that's supposed to be a part of the parody. And as we start out in Area 1 Ponyville, there are a total of 10 areas in the game. 
Now, here's the gimmick about this game. Besides being able to have up to 40 ponies, you can swap them out at absolutely any time, whether it be on the field or in battle. Now, to explain things, we have our HP. The more levels you get, the higher it is. When it reaches zero, that pony's dead. AP is this game's MP, in a sense. Well, it's action points. I want to call it action points, because that makes the most sense. I should ask Dashion that, or maybe GW fan knows. AP lets you perform actions in this game, or action points. That's why I'm calling it action points. And you can only have 10. There's no way to increase this. There's no way to decrease this. You can only have 10. You can restore it, though, in battle, but not outside of... Well, you can restore it outside of battle, but not your health and whatnot. Which is really weird. But to counter that, you get full HP and 5 AP back per battle. Per battle when you win them. Yeah, I know, I'm not very good at this. This is why I wasn't too keen on doing Daydreaming Derp, because I didn't practice it, and you know it. Now, basically, items let you check your items. Perks or something we'll get shortly. That's pretty much your only form of equipment. Abilities, pretty much self-explanatory. These are your actions you can do in the game. Twily gets Hoof Slap, Magic Blast, Wish, and Charge. Hoof Slap slaps the enemy, ignores defense. Completely useless. Basic attack that attacks all enemies, very powerful. Buffs every pony. Useful, but not necessary. Charge. Restores 3 AP during your, for your turn. Useful, but we'll get items that'll mitigate that. Perks. Your equipment in this game. There's no swords, maces, clubs, armor, or anything. You only get perks, which act as equipment and buffs. Ponies. Let's you swap your team. Save game. No shit. Quit. Let's you go back to your title screen or quit the application completely. Now, this, the starting section of all this is probably the worst of it. Because if we get a bad formation of enemies, we can easily be killed. So let's see what we get. Because I gotta level up at first. Alright, this doesn't seem too bad. So let's... Oh, I might as well explain this really quick. Battle lets you start your battle selecting from attack, which lets you attack, obviously. You choose from your commands, use them, and then you do your crap. Ponies lets you swap between your members. You can do this, and it won't cost you a turn. Run will let you run from the battle. This works most of the time, surprisingly enough. I assume the higher level you are, the easier it is, because at a high enough level, I'm able to run from even the toughest enemies with little to no issues. Anyways, we're going to start out by attacking. The game remembers what your last command was when it comes to attack. So if I attack and use Magic Blast, I can just reuse it by spamming the Z key to reselect it. So we're gonna have Rarity and Twilight use Magic Blast. I guess Applejack will buck and we'll have Rainbow Dash use Hoof Stomp. Anyways, just let go when you've got all your commands inputted. Yeah, these guys really hurt because hard mode. But that'll all change soon enough. Now what's the difference between normal and hard mode? Well, in normal in hard mode enemies are 50% stronger. That's what I was told. And oh boy does it show. It really does. Now we need to be careful because uh, we can die fairly easy at the start, but it will ease up on us. Is let's, I may as well show off Applejack and uh, Rainbow Dash's thing in rarities. She also has Magic Blast. Risky shot, risky shot, which becomes quickly useless. It says deals heavy damage to one enemy, if you're lucky. Magic Blast, same as Twilight's, Hoof Slap, same as Twilight's, and everyone has Charge. Alright, we have Applejack who has Buck, which is a single target basic physical attack. Cannot crit. Battle Cry, which stuns enemies, I've never used it. Hot Cider, which is a damage over time attack. And then we have Charge, because everyone has Charge. So let's have her Buck. Rainbow Dash starts out with Buck too. Hoof Stomp, which is a basic attack to all enemies, it's weaker, so it'll do less damage, but it will hit everything. Haste, it will give agility up to every pony. The higher agility, the faster your turn comes. And we have the obvious charge. Now let's go into fighting them. Oh shit, there goes Applejack. Oh well. I really will be getting rid of her later, so it doesn't bother me too much. And like I said, the start of this is probably the hardest part of all this crap. I should have used Buck. 
Once we get past the start, though, it'll be fine. Also, when they you win a battle, they'll be resurrected with all their health. So will I cut battles? No, this game is short enough, and there's very little dialogue, so cutting battles will just decrease the time of this LP. Yeah, we should have gotten one of these at first. Whatever, we'll level dashing them up as we go. But debuffs in this game are apparently king, though I've never needed to use them until the end of the game. Yeah, harsh lesson learned. That's what I get for not experimenting. So I'm just gonna fight here a little bit. That was a... Oh, and also, hard mode enemies give double the XP. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Alright, we have three of these jerks. They may have been smart to run away, but I think we can take them. Yeah, there goes Rarity, of course. We can take them, instantly dies. Also, hard mode enemies are more uh, likely to do multi-target attacks. That wasn't funny, people. I can't resurrect her because I don't have any resurrection items yet. Once I get past the start, things will ease up a bit. If so, I'll do grinding off screen. That might be the smart thing to do. Because then I can just go through fighting what we come across and then, you know... Just leave those battles in while doing the grinding off screen. Let's just kill him. It's a bounce pot. Normally he gives 60 XP, but he gives 120, and it's split between your four party members. Now, party members in the main party will receive full XP. Ponies in reserve, though, will receive like half of that. So that's poop, isn't it? Anyways, let's talk to Nurse Dash. Yeah, she makes an appearance throughout this game. She's your only means of shopping. So if you ever have the bits and you need something to buy, you can talk to her. So let's buy four of these. I don't really need anything else. Anyways, perks. There's two types of perks. Special perks, which we'll get later, and normal perks, which are pretty much what I just bought. I don't know if it's possible to switch between ponies in the equipment screen. I couldn't figure out a button that does so. So we're going to have to go and equip them and then leave. Strengthen will increase the attack and magic attack of each pony by a small amount. Not much, but it'll be helpful. It's once we've gotten a few more levels, or a couple more levels, well, we might as well go exploring and get some treasure chests. Oh, we have a new enemy here. I can't show you their name because all attacks won't let you see that. Those are mech crabs. They're fast, at least their cousins are. We'll meet them later. Hey, look at that, now we're doing much more damage because of the level ups we received and the equipment we just bought. And there's a good reason you get double XP, because... Missing, I don't know, it sort of negates the hard mode part. Now let's go searching for chests, because there are still chests in this game, but unlike the original, unlike MLP RPG 2, it, well, I don't, can't really say that, depends on your playstyle, I guess, but the chests in this are really worth getting, because they usually contain goodies like perks. And besides, these battles won't last long, that's why I don't want to really cut them out. And hence why I'll do grinding off screen. Videos will be 20 to 30 minutes, more so than uh, after years. Those videos were long enough, but you guys don't seem to mind. Alright, what do we got in here? Hey, that restores... Well, I may as well just show it off. You know what, I can just tell you. Hey, that restores 10 AP to one pony. There's a guard. He's... They're guarding the bridge. We can't go to the right yet. I know, that sucks. I want to go exploring, but it won't let me. If you guys want me to cut battles, though, I'll do so. If not, I'll just keep them in. They're not long. And I can do grinding off screen. For the most part, though, in the first area, I can just kind of bum rush through it. Oh, here we have a specialist spot. But first, let's talk to Celestia. Look at what I found, Twilight. This is one of the portals that Discord has made. I can sense a very powerful threat from it. Perhaps this portal might be one of the sources of those strange monsters. Proceed with caution, Twilight. Make sure you and your friends are ready to fight. I would also recommend you go to the Everfree Forest. I sense an even more powerful threat there. Oh, you have no idea, Celestia. Yes, Your Majesty. Another thing. Even if you defeat the monsters that come from the portal, there is a chance that they will come back. So stay alert. I have to go. 
There are other places in Equestria that need my help. Good luck. By that, she means she's gonna go to a random location and wait for us. And do nothing, as always. Anyways, we have a special spot right here. Let's talk to this pony. Welcome to the altar. Ever since Discord became evil again, he captured a lot of you ponies and hid them in another dimension. Yeah, that's spelled wrong. I've seen that you can go there by presenting a certain item that has to do with one of the ponies that are missing. If you ever find anything unusual, bring it over here and we'll see if anything happens. Anyways, this book will tell you how many ponies you have befriended. We have six of 40, because you start out with six. No shit, Sherlock. Right, should I show off one of those pony battles? They aren't really worth doing right now. This is, this, will, this is how you know you'll have a special item. You'll see a little twilight icon next to it. You can guess who the pony is by the item itself. Bow and well-worn hat. Hmm, I wonder who those two could be. We'll find out later. We got treasures to grab, though. And battles to fight. Besides, if I didn't leave these battles in, honestly, there wouldn't be a whole lot much to show off then. Just little bits of dialogue, because this game is far from story heavy. If GW, fan, if GW fan thought MLPRPG 2 had little dialogue, wait till he sees this game. Oh, right in front of the chest. Bastards. Eh, let's just use Buck. Magic Blast is disgusting in this game, by the way. It's going to be your best friend for killing enemies, you know, on the field. Physical ponies are still good for bosses, though. Alright, we got Defense Plus. We may as well put it on till I get something to replace it. It's a special perk. It will raise our defense. Defense will... You know, the higher your defense, the more resistance to physical attacks you have. The higher attack, the more physical damage you do, the more magic attack you have, or mag, the more magic attack damage you'll do. Spirit is your defense against magic attacks. Agility is how fast your turn will come. And I assume luck determines how resistant you are to debuffs. Because Dashi said the stats are the same. And now I know there's one more chest. We've got the bottom left, the top right. Ah, that's where it is. It's above this altar. Silly steel. All right, we got more of these jerks. What are you guys called again? Oh. Gear rat? All right. I was called it Garrett. Yeah, that's incorrect. Yeah, look at that. Now we're already wiping the floor of everything here. But don't let that fool you. Hard mode is a challenge. It will test you. Alright, we got a good perk. Strength plus. I'm gonna put that on for now. So for now, I think offense is more important. Besides, it's not like we're getting a whole lot of defense. And the level ups we get are more than enough to make up for that. Forgot to give you your defense plus. Anyways, you know what? I may as well show off one of the altars. Let's save our game just in case. Save on file 7. Rarity. Fashion for every occasion. Yeah, she put in... Nurse Dash, she put in fun little loading screens like that. Anyways, if you want to use one of these items and recruit a pony, just simply go to your item screen, get in front of the altar, and use one of the items. Let's use the bow. The altar activated, the special item you presented. Let's see what happens. Though I'll get these characters off screen unless it's absolutely necessary for me to get them now. Anyways, that's automatic. I don't control Twilight for that. And we'll be thrust right into a boss battle against Apple Bloom. Well, how about we use the CMC and we'll copy S S SGB. We'll copy a uh, GW fan, because screw logic. So I'm going to use Wish just to play it safe. No, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Yeah, she can use Risky Shot, and you can tell it really hurts. I don't know, I can't take these boss battles seriously. Maybe it's the music? I forgot, you run out of AP because of that. Stupid. Now, you shouldn't have much health left. Yeah, that's going to hurt de Oh, it missed! Nice. That attack does have a low chance to hit people. I can't really heal you, Rarity. You're kind of fucked. But don't worry about uh, pony battles. They give little to no XP, so if a pony dies, who gives a shit? 
It's not like they're going to miss out on much. And that's it. That was easy. Yeah, I'm very reckless, so I hope that doesn't bug you too much. Yeah, see, 10 XP. The 35 GP is pointless. Dashy told me it was just to keep the game from crashing. Yay, we won the battle, and when we win a battle against a pony, they join our party. Woot. And pretty much everything you see in the loading screens are ponies you can recruit. And that isn't a real, it's more like a mini boss battle. Let's just make a quick save right here. And let's take on the real boss of Area 1, then we'll call it an episode. So I don't think you guys should have to wait. And then can we take him? Actually, let's do one quick normal battle, because I want to restore Twilight's AP. And we don't have any items in our inventory for that right now. I'm on Twilight, get into a fight. There we go. Let's just bash his brains in. It looks like a cupcake with a cherry on top. Maybe that was the point. Yeah, if you noticed, we got 60, but Apple Loom got 19. You get a fuckload less in the side in the sidelines. Anyways, let's go fight the boss. Just hit Z on the portal to activate it. Uh, we're gonna use Wish to buff ourselves up, and then we're gonna beat the shit out of him. This guy isn't very hard. At least he's never given me trouble. Yeah, he loves to. Sp Some enemies that have stun love to fucking spam it. Looks like Rarity got more than one turn of stun. Stun isn't a really big issue when it comes to a status ailment. Yeah, it'll stun you for a turn, but it goes away rather quickly. Alrighty, that stun is... I don't know how Twilight... St oh, I, I'm looking at it incorrectly. It looked like Twilight still had her AP to me. I'm not looking at things correctly. Its boss battles, for the most part, aren't really tough. Though, from what Dashy said, debuffs are your best friend in hard mode. But we don't have any ponies that really debuff now, do we? And with that, the boss is defeated. That was easy sauce. And as with that, we get to... Yeah, bosses in this game give XP a buttload of XP. And as with that, Twilight Sparkle levels up. We got some nice stat boosts. He gave 200 XP. That's really nice. We did it. Let's hurry and find the other portals. Ignore that message. The other portals are pointless. We'll pretty much end up having to find Discord and dealing with them ourselves. Anyways, that chest gave us some supplies, which is some red apples, green apples, and a cake. Red apples will restore 50% of HP to a pony. Fully restores an HP to some pony, and cake will revive a pony with half their health and give them an increase to defense and magic defense. So they have a better chance of surviving instead of instantly fucking dying when they get revived. Anyways, what awaits us down south to us, beyond this bridge? We'll find out next time on Let's Play My Little Pony RPG 3. My Little Pony World, whatever the frick works for you. I'll just say MLP RPG 3 from now on, or My Little Pony World. And so I'll see you guys next time.